Happy April, my friends! I'm finally trying the Popeye's The Sandwich. Got the spicy one with some fries, of course. Had a really long week at work, so I'm just treating myself. And I'm gonna watch some Netflix, so April is going strong. However, uh, blocking the home appliances section because of Ford's new thing. So, can't explore the home goods. But I'm at Loblaws because, ooh, pretty. I'm getting distracted, but I'm at Loblaws because I want to get some ice cream for myself because I just got a new job and it's offered officially today. Ooh, these are look really nice for the summer. Arr. Just hate how I can't walk there, but I'm just gonna get ice cream and just celebrate by myself. And I trying out the Skechers shoes from Costco. They're actually very comfortable, more comfortable than my um, Adidas, so I'm happy about that. This is on sale at Costco. I currently have a Philips one, but my button on my Philips one is not working correctly and this was on sale, so it'll be good for Clem and I to share um, this whole set. AKA we're gonna have our own toothbrush, okay? And then of course I have to get the refills. I had Oral-B before and I really liked it. It lasted me a long time, but it eventually, I don't know what happened to it. Why does this always happen? I told myself that I wouldn't go to shoppers after grocery shopping, but I'm in the shoppers <laughs> drug mart parking lot right now. I don't know, I just love shoppers and I don't buy a lot of stuff from shoppers. It's a lot of it's necessities, but I just love walking in. Although I do need shampoo though, but I haven't printed any coupons, so I don't know if I'm gonna actually get it today, but uh, struggling with myself. However, I'm glad that it's not like Gucci or Coach or, you know, expensive, luxurious things, but yeah. Okay, I caved in, but to be fair, I did tell you guys that I did need another shampoo. Um, I have a really dry scalp, so hopefully um, something with no sulfates, no dyes, no parabens will be helping my scalp right now. And sometimes it's a little bit dry too, like even at the ends. So I've heard really good things about apple cider in general. And I just did some quick Google searches. Um, and this was on sale. It was $7.99 each, but if you buy two, you get... 3,200 optimum points. So that's like $3 off. And so I'm hoping that this will do wonders for my hair. I typically tend to, I think for my hair, I started to pay more attention to it before I used to use like what's ever on sale, like Herbal, Pantene, Dove, but they could need to pay more attention to it. And I really like Aveeno in general, we'll see. Huge Aveeno fan, and I'm also using Aveeno face wash right now. And then this is finally on sale. So typically I gravitate towards um, ivory, but I really, really love this scent. There's something about, I don't know, white tea or something that is just very refreshing. And these two, or I guess this line in general it doesn't leave that much soap scum because i tried olay before and oh my goodness it leaves like a layer of film after you shower and i do not like that and then of course cleaning products so i don't know what's in this oh it probably says ingredients but i don't want to read it um so i use this right after i shower and I can't explain the wonders that it does. It smells nice. It's, it just feels clean. Is it a placebo? I don't know, but I feel great after I spray it. So after you shower, um, you just spray it on the tiles, the, the shower door, everywhere. And uh, I can't explain it. It's $3.99 on sale. If you have a shower, um, mm, does this work for bathtubs too? Probably. Just get it, and then you can let me know if it works for you. And then, <laughs> surprise, surprise. So I have like a fear of like mold 
growing in my shower and I see a little bit and I tried so many methods like bleach, baking soda, um, and right now when I'm showering I use like a sponge which has like a handle and I mix Dawn soap and vinegar and sometimes when I'm doing my hair mask I would just kind of wipe my whole shower down. I feel like it's not doing the best and I just, whenever I shower I just look at the little gray spots but mm, I'm gonna try this one. Um, this is also method. I feel like if this is working well maybe this would also work well. This is bathroom cleaner. Um, it's I think it's bleach three, bleach free. So it says uh, help with dissolve soap scum and remove mold and mildew. Uh, we shall see. I have another backup method that I am going to try probably next week, which is vinegar and baking soda. But yeah. I am excited to try this. So this arrived at my doorstep today and I immediately called one of my coworkers because she mentioned that she got me something she wanted to tell me immediately, but I was like, no, I want it to be a surprise. So I am so stoked for this. I saw this on TikTok and it does wonders. And I'm just shook because I think this is probably one of the top three items that I was super excited to use and to receive from my gift registry. So yeah, this is going to be awesome for this couch and also my car as well. Can remove tough stains, clean stairs, auto interiors, perfect for homes with kids and pets and eventually definitely going to get pets, you know. But yeah, I, I'm still in shock. I I'm so thankful for her and yeah, this was sold out on a lot of places so I'm surprised that she was able to snag it, but yay! Thanks coworker, you know who you are. Clem, how was it? How would you rate this? It's pretty easy to build, but it's just a lot of tedious, right? It's tedious. Yeah. Yay, Clem finished it. Trying to find a way to maybe if we can make the cabinets face that way. <sighs> Hooray! Ooh. But with this, I'm gonna try to fit all the stationary stuff all in this big cabinet. I feel like if we need more, we can just get a second one of these. Mm -hmm. You yeah. build it again, <laughs> right? Was like it fun building side. it? It was tiring for sure. I spent two hours building this. But most of it was kind of... Unboxing. Yeah, so good job, high five. Oh dear, this is what happens when I uh, want to try to be organized, kind of get distracted. On the bright side, I did manage to kind of coordinate or organize what's in these four big drawers. There's a lot of notebooks in here. Ugh. Yeah, I saved all my cards in here. These are my letter stuff. These are my journals that I've actually completed. And then, I don't know, I feel like I'm right now I'm using an electronic journal, but I kind of miss writing it. These are the journals that I have yet to use, so I don't know, I'm kind of thinking if I should switch back to writing my actual journal. And then, yeah, so this is like the state of everything. It's kind of um, overwhelming me. I'm just going to slowly work at it before I talk to Clem tonight. But urgh, I can't wait until all this is clean. Finally got some dishwashing detergent. And originally it wasn't working, it was turning on, but I couldn't hear any water sound, so I had to call Clem's dad. And he said to turn that valve on, so I did. And now I hear water sounds. So I don't think I'll be using the dishwasher frequently, but I heard it's good to just run it like maybe once a month to just make sure that it's working. So I don't know if you, if you can hear the water sounds. Man, this stuff? is amazing. It's different from the regular Dawn dish soap, but I don't know if it's just like a marketing thing, but I just feel like it works so much better. It also works great on counters as well. 
you spray on it and then you just wipe it down and I like to use this also on the glass stove top so before I would use a little bit of this and a sponge I'm um, like a different sponge and then I would just wipe it down but with that one I don't know what it is but it's just working better I would only buy this if it's on sale though so I think I got three for like nine dollars from Costco I think so it is overall more expensive than um, regular Dawn dish soap but there's more purposes with this one Was it easy? Yeah, the instructions are pretty easy to follow. Yeah. yeah. Clem's cooking in this kitchen by himself for the first time. But. Not for the first time. By yourself? Yeah. yeah. For the first time. By yourself in this kitchen. But yeah, he had all the instructions in front of him. I'm not saying that invalidates his experience, but good job.